Hello friends, welcome to Lori's, Miss Lori's craft room. Today we're going to be making this beautiful rose. Sorry, I'm trying to get the good, good angle on it. So this is um, a rose that I make from a cut in Cricut, the design space. I'm not going to take credit for this flower because I learned this from the Tim Holtz video. It's sort of a take on his grunge rose, okay? I do it a little different, but um, basically it's the same cuts that he did. So I know he uses a die for his, but okay. So what, I'm going to show you what we're going to need today. So, and I do have this on a stick because a lot of people are wanting to put these in their bouquets. And um, so I'm trying to show how that can happen. And we'll, I'll show you how I did that. Okay. So today we're going to use um, each flower takes three petals or three cuts okay this is about a three inch flower size of it so this is what this size will make so this is a pretty good size rose um, you could make this bigger smaller I've made it much smaller let me show you a few other samples that I've made here's an orange one Here, let me see. of course I have so many left over from past projects that I've done. Here's a pink one. I'm sure many of you have seen those, seen them. I post them. I do quite a show off, so I like to show. This is absolutely one of my very favorite ones I've ever made. It is, um, it's orange and it's just absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's so pretty. So here's another one. So, okay. So you're going to need three cuts, a bowl of water, an egg carton. You can use something else to dry the roses, but I use egg carton because it works in the microwave. Okay, and then you need some ink. Today we're going to be using black ink, and I'm going to also be using the red barn, a real, real dark red. Okay, and then for the leaf, I'll also include this cut. It's just a, another cricket leaf. It's a rose leaf. Okay, and green ink for that. And we need you need tweezers for this. Well, I do at least. You could probably do it without, but I don't recommend it. It works fabulous. A pair of sharp scissors. Your hot glue gun. If you're going to put it on a dowel, of course you need a dowel. And also, this is um, floral tape to cover the stick. <laughs> and what else? Oh, to distress the leaf. Um, we're going to need a pad, and um, I don't have my distressing tool because mine broke and my husband's out there making me, turning me a new uh, handle for it. So let's start with just the leaf. So I'm going to use, let me just show you, I'm going to use the end of my spatula. Show you how you can use almost anything to distress something. So this is a pattern paper, and this paper I got from Joann's in their loose paper. It's a textured paper. So it works really great. So I'm going to turn it over onto the non-textured side and I'm just going to use my spatula. Maybe my husband will get my, I don't think he'll get my tool done by the time I'm done with this. So, okay. So all you're going to do is that and you can see now it is, it's all textured. So then I'm going to take, I'm actually going to use this ink because that, this is a darker green and that this ink I showed you is an embossing ink and it doesn't show up very, won't show up very good. So I'm just going to use the big, big pad. And it's going to look like it's really too dark on here when you look at it, but it's really not because it's going to dry, but it's going to, it'll give it the subtle hints that it just what you're going for. Okay. Okay. So we're going to set that aside and we don't need that pad anymore. And I'm going to show you. So first thing what we do is you get your bowl of water and this paper absorbs water pretty fast it's really absorbent so I just float it in there float them in there float them in there so we're just gonna wait a minute I don't even wait a minute I'm just gonna let it absorb and uh, just for until I feel it so you'll see right away how it absorbs you can give it a minute every paper is going to absorb water differently so let me tell you why I get it wet 
I really like, if you can see this rose, this rose is very crinkly, like a real rose is. I don't like them to be smooth, but if you don't want, you can skip this step. You don't have to do this step, okay? Your flowers are going to be easier to work with because you did this, though, because you're breaking down the fibers. Okay, so I'm going to shake off the water. I'm going to set my water aside. Get it out of the way because I don't want to spill it because I'm very clumsy. Okay, so I just sit on here. Now, all you're going to do is I just carefully, because this paper will rip, so I'm just squishing it. I'm going to squish it. Squish it. This is red, so it's going to run a little bit. Okay, you're going to, not bad though. Squish it. So then you just gently, gently unsquish it. You're going to flatten it out, sort of. You don't need to flatten it out too much because you want all those creases, okay? You want that look. And this is a really deep red, and I love this red. It's going to make, it kind of makes almost a black rose. It's so pretty. All right. Okay, so I am very impatient. I don't like to wait. So um, you can set these aside and let them dry. It takes a couple hours to get them to dry because they're they're wet. But you can take this to your microwave, put it in the microwave for about three minutes. Now, if you're making a whole bunch of these, do a whole bunch. Cover this sheet. I'll take a whole bunch. I'll fill up if I'm doing a lot of flowers. I'll fill up many carts and I'll just stack them like this. I just stack them on top, fill it up, stack them on top of each other. Take them to the microwave, microwave them for three minutes to start. And the way you can tell if they're dry, you can touch them to your face. And if they're cold, they're not dry. So, and then just microwave them till they're dry. Okay. And then they're ready to go. And then they're going to look like this. They're going to be nice and stiff again and ready to go. So you can see. Look at the texture on that. Isn't that better than just a flat surface? I mean, you already have all this texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dark red. Okay. And I'm going to just, I'm just literally going to ink it. And I don't know, it's hard, kind of hard to see, but I'm sure you can see. See how it's dark? It's not going to stay this dark. This is going to dry and it's just going to be subtle. So even though it seems like it's ruined it, it really hasn't. Okay. So you just really can ink this up. So it's just every single thing you apply to it gives it more depth. Okay. And you can see the dip. This one is a little smoother. It's funny how it, sometimes they're smooth. Okay. So then I'm just going to put my ink aside so it doesn't dry out. And then, okay, so you've got three petals. Okay, so you're going to cut these. This is where you're going to get your petals. So the first cut you're going to do is you're going to cut two cuts, and you're going to make it into a triangle with a, with a thing. So I cut a pretty deep cut right to the center, and then I come over here, and I cut. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I kind of cut it to leave a little flap on there on the, the big part. Okay, so then, so you have... This is one petal and this is another petal. So you set those aside. Now this one, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to cut it. You're going to cut two petals off. So I'm going to make a cut right down into the center. And then I'm going to make another cut just down into the center. Okay. And now this last one, I've already done this one just because I accidentally did it. So I shove my, you can bend it in half and go clip, clip. But I usually just shove my scissors in and make an X. See, so you're just making an X in there, okay? Okay, so now you have five pieces. And this is going to turn into a really pretty flower. All right, so first thing I do is I take my tweezers and I take this, the little triangle one, and I I hold it a little bit in, about an eighth of an inch in, and I just roll it until it's like that, okay? So that's going to make it so you can glue it really easily then, okay? So then this, I take a little bit of hot glue, and I use hot glue, and you're, I will tell you, you're more than likely going to burn yourself, because I always do, but usually I do use my tweezers for this part. 
so I hold it. I'm really screwing this part up, okay? So you're going to glue it and you're going to just make a little, this is your center of your flower, okay? Now, you're probably going to, when you're doing this, if you're using this dark color, it's going to, you're going to get glue. It's going to see the glue, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of that at the end, okay? because that is not a big deal it will disappear I'll show you the trick to make it disappear sorry I'm really making this seem harder than it is it's really simple you just twist it you put a little glue and you have a little comb okay and then you get the next one and this one I do the same thing I just I take it about an eighth of an inch in and I start ah, rolling it to myself and until I make a tube. Now I don't want it to, it's not going to stay in a tube, but it's going to go out like that so that it's easier to fold in. Okay, so this one's much easier because it's not so small. It's going to get a little hot glue. And if you have a, a small hot glue gun, that really will work better because I use a big, hot, big one. But okay, so you see, you just made another cone. Okay, and you're just going to do the same thing to, to the mall. Okay, is you're just going to put a little bit of glue and then you're going to just overlap just the edge. You're only going to overlap about an eighth of an inch. And you can see why I like to use hot glue because it's just it's just hot and dry. It just cools right off and then it's ready to go. Okay. And thankfully I haven't even burned myself today. Did earlier though. Okay, so those, those are your, then you got your all your five petals. Okay, so then I take, you don't cut the first little one, but you take the other ones, and you're just going to cut the tip off, because what's going to happen is these are all going to nest inside of each other, so you need to have kind of an opening for that middle to come through. See, so I'm just cutting the tip off, and I'm making a hole, so that there's a hole for the flower to go through. And you'll see why in a minute, okay? So every one of them now has a hole. I don't know if you can see my finger through there. Okay, so I'm going to assemble it now. So I, this is where my tweezers really come in handy. These really sharp, straight ones. I just get a hold of it in my left hand. And I don't put tons of glue all around it, about a quarter of an inch up. I put like a little, some glue, a pretty good glob of it. And then I'm going to take the second petal with the two petals and I'm going to stick it in there. And you're going to see it shot out the bottom of it. Okay. So I'm leaving it on my tweezers. I don't take it off my tweezers. And you can see how it, it's nesting in there. Then I just get some more glue and put it on that two petals. Just kind of go around a little bit. Then I pick up the petals that are three. Now when you put this one in here, you're going to turn it so that the petals are offsetting each other. Okay, so you want to just make it look nice. You have a little wiggle room because it's cool. And you can see, see, there's now they're all nesting inside there. Same thing. Get some more glue, and then you're going to take your next one, and you're going to shove it through the hole. And this is where I take, release my tweezers, pull them out, and then I just, I'm using my fingers to press it in. Okay, so you're going to see it's going to be, it's all, they're all poking out the bottom of there. They're all poking out the hole. Okay, they're all poking out the back. Then you take the last one and you're just going to put some more glue. See, if you can see that, it's kind of a mess right there, the glue. But I'm going to show you how that's going to just disappear. You won't even see it. Okay, we'll put some more. Poke that through the hole you made. Now see, you want to offset the petals. You don't want them lining up. You want them to be you want them to be separate from each other. Okay. See, so there you have your little flower. Now, if you wanted, you could just leave this just like it is. You won't you wouldn't have to mess with the petals because you've because you took the time to get it wet and scrunch it up, it already looks like a flower. But if you want to then, you can take your tweezers and you can come in and grab the edges and just roll some of the petals down. I don't roll all the petals down because I just think it's beautiful just the way it is. I do not think it needs to have very much. Or you can just do part of a petal, like do the corner of it. 
Okay, try to make it look natural. Okay. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I'm not, I would take this, take the leaf, put some glue on it, and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do, because I want, I want to be able to use some of this leaf on this stick. So I'm going to leave some of the leaf down below the stem. And you're going to have to hold this for a minute till, till it gets cooled off and hardens. So we're going to give it a minute. And as you can see, I've left a spot right here for the stick. Okay, so we're gonna be what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a whole bunch of put some glue here, and then we're gonna I what I did is I I I put hot glue, I put the stick, and then I took my Okay, so I'll show you. Okay, so I put Put some glue and I put, and you can do this with a floral wire. I just don't have any floral wire right now. Okay, and you see that? And I just set it in there. Then to make it strong and to give it something, I'm going to literally take a bunch of glue and just saturate it. So you're making a little thing and then you're going to want to set this aside or just sit here and hold it until it cools off. Okay, because this glue is really, really hot. But when it cools, I have, in, I have created, a, and, in, and I want to move this because it's still hot, but I don't think you can see it, but on this one, I created like a little, um, a whole covering so that you, it, it's really sturdy. See, I mean, it's really sturdy. So we're going to set this one aside. Hopefully I can get it so it stays, we don't ruin it. And I'm going to show you how to put the floral tape on this. Okay, so if you've never worked with floral tape before, it's not, it doesn't feel sticky. It's a little sticky, but not really. But when you stretch it, it sticks to itself and becomes sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the very top. And if you wanted to, if you weren't comfortable with this and you didn't think it was sticky, see, I stretched it so it's sticky. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I go, I'm going to pull it. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue up here. And I'm going to stick my floral tape in it so that it will stay. And when I pull it, it will not go anywhere. Okay? So what I want to do, sorry, in theory, you do have to let it cool off. Sorry, guys. I'm always in such a hurry. Well. I'm going to tell you honestly, it might not stick to hot glue because some things won't stick. But you could use some ATG tape or whatever, okay? Or just don't try to rush. I'm in a little rush because I'm trying to get this movie done. Okay. So then you're just going to twist, pull, and twist. Okay. So I'm just going to first start this out because it's not behaving itself. Okay, so now I have it established. Now I can pull the tape and twirl, and you want to overlap it as you're pulling it. You want to overlap it because if you're pulling the tape, it's getting sticky and it's covering your stick or your wire. Okay, so whichever, ever you're doing. Okay, so it's a little messy up here at the top, but if you're making a bouquet, probably it's going to cover it, and you can even put more leaves around that, or now that it's dry and cool, and you have time, just wrap it with more tape, okay? So here you go. Here is your rose on a stick. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy my videos. I really love making them, and I love making flowers, and I hope to, for you to come back again. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Oh, yes, I will include the cut files in the description of the video. Okay? Thank you.